Good evening from the Central Illinois Weather Network. I'm Larry Eastep. We still have some pretty intense thunderstorms moving over portions of Central Illinois this evening. A line of storms stretching over Vermilion County, back through Champaign County, uh, even uh, over portions of Shelby County right at the moment, getting ready to enter the Mattoon area. This line of storms has a history of some wind damage, but right at the moment there's no severe thunderstorm warnings in Illinois. They're all on the Indiana side. You can see a new tornado watch just been issued there over the Indianapolis area as these storms uh, around the Lafayette, Indiana area continue to fire up and produce reports of large hail. You're probably seeing some gusty winds, though, and some small hail uh, right now again over portions of Coles County and even back uh, around the Lake Shelbyville area it looks like uh, some pretty uh, good storms there and just to the east of Danville those storms will continue to uh, move towards the east at about 30 to 40 miles per hour back further to the south a new severe thunderstorm warning just actually being issued here just to the north of the St. Louis area it looks like this particular cell uh, moving over uh, the areas south of Oakville and East St. Louis will uh, dump some fairly hefty rainfall and some large hail along with damaging winds over the next half hour or so. Uh, northwestern Clinton County, also a uh, pretty nasty looking cell there. We'll uh, turn on velocity here for a moment and see if we're seeing any rotation with this uh, particular line. And uh, we were seeing more earlier than what we're seeing now. Not a whole lot in the St. Louis area. But uh, let's go up here to the north again uh, with this uh, image and just see. We are seeing some indications here uh, right in this area. Um, we're going to zoom in on here just to the west of Effingham. I'm not sure if we're getting some uh, uh, bad data from the uh, radar out of Lincoln or not, but uh, this particular area over Shelby County would be an area where we're going to want to keep our eye on. Let's go back to reflectivity for a moment. That is the most intense area of that storm over central Shelby County right at the moment and we are seeing again right in that area um, signs of rotation when you see those reds and greens uh, that's uh, indications of wind uh, and precipitation going away from the radar and towards the radar and we're getting some again mixing here of the reds and greens over Fayette County into Shelby County so along this leading edge I would not be surprised at all to see the development of a spin-up tornado or two uh, as this continues to move along, but right now no severe thunderstorm or tornado warnings, but uh, keep an eye over Fayette County there and again over Shelby County. Is, uh, there's been some little hooks and fingers try to develop off this, and, and that right there uh, just to the north of Vandalia is definitely of a little bit of concern as we uh, watch that area. Yeah, just to the north of uh, Vandalia there, we'll have to keep an eye on that over the next uh, little while as those storms continue to move towards the Altamont and Effingham area. A little wider view here on the St. Louis radar shows an additional uh, line of storms going to be moving across the St. Louis metro here in a bit. Those storms approaching the Raleigh area right now. We've actually had several individual lines kind of fire up along I-70 over the past couple of hours. And all of these are moving towards the east. We'll put this in motion and show you a lot of little cells uh, popping up uh, this area under a severe thunderstorm watch. And uh, the Storm Prediction Center watching this area for the potential of additional development as these storms generally move towards the east, west to east, uh, but the whole line is slowly sinking towards the south. You do notice so up to the north over the Columbia area and further north over portions of central Missouri and back over through in Illinois, we do see these flash flood warnings uh, encompass uh, a good portion of each of the states and those will again continue as uh, the Doppler radar estimates, uh, here's uh, Lincoln's over the past hour, uh, precipitation, uh, total rainfall, anywhere you see that purple over Champaign County, that's one and a half to two inches of rain over just the past hour. The greens uh, and uh, darker aqua color uh, are anywhere from one to one and a half inches of rain over the past hour. Over the past 24 hours, the story's a little bit more uh, profound though, especially over west uh, and northwest Illinois to the west of Peoria. The area you see flashing there anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of rainfall over the past 24 hours and all that purple and pink is 4 to 5 inches so you can see why the flash flood warnings have been issued. A number of street, uh, re streets reported flooded and uh, creeks and streams are also out of their banks in many areas. Let's come back to uh, the Lincoln radar again here if we can and we'll show you again these uh, storms. Uh, let's come back out to reflectivity and show you these storms. Along the leading edge, we're going to keep an eye on over the next couple of hours as they move through central Illinois. Right now, again, no warnings, but very intense, heavy rainfall, uh, over an inch an hour possible with the uh, storms. And then, as you can see, back to the west, we still have uh, a good two to three hours of rainfall behind that, stretching all the way back. Uh, we can keep 
pull it out here and show you stretching all the way back into portions of Iowa this evening. Additional heavy rainfall uh, coming towards central Illinois. So definitely a flash flood situation to watch out for. Uh, that seems to be the majority of the reports we're getting now. There is a lot of lightning still with this line too, especially along the leading edge. We'll put the uh, lightning uh, here and you can see a little bit of lightning now towards the Quincy area and uh, northwest of Springfield, but this intense uh, line of lightning over the past 15 minutes uh, just stretches right along that uh, um, leading edge of storms. Uh, and we can show you here the frontal boundary uh, kind of sits right now uh, from just south of Bloomington, Indiana, over through Effingham, and then back up to the northwest of the Quincy area. That's uh, the warm front that we're looking at there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll quickly check here before we leave uh, storm reports. Um, looks like we are getting a number of flash flood reports still with this uh, line of storms again uh, as the rain continues to come down. And we'll take lightning off here real quick if we can and uh, get a better look at these uh, Reports, not seeing any reports of tornadoes or wind damage over the past hour or so, which is definitely a good sign, but we'll keep an eye on it here from the Central Illinois Weather Network.